Hi Oakview, it's Mrs. Souza. Today we're going to talk about package design. What is a package? And why is it so important as shoppers when we are looking to buy something? Let's pretend you were walking in a grocery store and you came across these. Well, lots of us know what fruit roll-ups are, but what about this box makes us want to get it? I'm looking for snacks. I see these fruit roll-ups. As a consumer or someone who will buy it, I am thinking, ooh, these look really good. I don't even know what they are, but they're colorful. They have to be swirly and colorful, and I love rainbows. And since my family is vegan, I noticed right here, gelatin free. That means that there aren't any animal byproducts in it. And for somebody who shops that way for their family, that's really important. As a consumer, I am looking for bright, flashy packaging to help me, guide me into my decision making. What do I need to purchase? I will likely want to purchase something that is bright and colorful, looks appealing, you know, it looks tasty. Right here it says enlarged to show texture, things like that. As a consumer, I would be interested in buying. A consumer is someone who buys something and the designer is the person who makes the packaging, who physically designs the file in a computer like Miss Sousa does. So in a program, I would have my file set up like this. This is a flat two-dimensional surface with all of my folds. Here's a fold here, and a fold, and a fold, and then there's a tab over here. Tabs usually get cut like that. That's where the glue goes, or in this case, it was a heavy adhesive. There are flaps on the bottoms, four flaps on this side, four flaps up on the top, and then there were the four panels. Panel is where we're gonna put most of the information. All right, so when we're looking at it flat, we can see everything that we need right here. We're gonna see that on one of the panels, which was this one, we have, looks like an answer key and it looks like a barcode. Then we move to this, which is the front of the box. And that's always on the left, much like a book. If you were to open a book and, f and open it flat, you would see the front cover on the left and the back cover on the right. So over here in the center, we have the nutritional facts. So basically if I turn this, you will see it. And then to the back, usually a fun game or something. And on the bottom, there are actually four tabs, even though you only see two. And notice there was a little adhesive here. And there will be some adhesive here. So the only places with glue are along this tab. So today we are going to design our own cereal box and then we will glue it back together. Right, so I flipped it over and now we are going to see about putting some graphics, design the panels here, to see if we can come up with our own cereal box. So what kind of information would you wanna put on your box? What would you want, what would you think is important for consumers to know? How flashy should your graphics be? important things should be nice and big so that people can see them. Enlarging to show detail, colorful. 
the information that we need that's important is nice and big. You're gonna wanna take out your markers and crayons and get to work. Let's see what Ms. Sousa's going to come up with. I'm going to share with you some of the process, but I'm going to show you the final on Flipgrid. So here I am working on the back. I am currently making a crossword puzzle. The tip to this is making sure that you write in the words that you want to have people find and then fill it in with the rest of the alphabet. So this is the back panel, which is on the right hand side when you're looking at a flat box. There is my crossword. All right, now I can erase the lines. something to put here but then I also have my nutritional panel which is here and I also have to figure something out to put here this is where being creative really comes in handy um, what do I I know that I need to put nutritional facts so I would put that here and then the rest, my friends, is totally, it's totally up to you. We need important information. We, this helps us know that they are vegetarian or vegan. We know how much is in the box. We can see something colorful and flashy. We know now that they are sweetened corn balls with tasty marshmallows. Family sized, just makes me feel like I'm getting a good bargain. And this is important to know if people who are not interested in eating gelatin, we could see it right there. Now maybe on my bowl, I feel like drawing like a unicorn or something like that. But you know what? All of this is totally up to you. My finished version will actually be on Flipgrid. So come check out Flipgrid at OV Creative Space where I will share with you my finished cereal box. And I will put the cereal box up with the other cereal and I'll see if I can trick my kids. I hope you had fun today making your own cereal box, being a graphic designer, working with package design. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.